Hi everyone, Linda Israel here and I'm sharing the last kit for 2020 for Linda's creative subscription box and it is called a Christmas dream. So this is going to be a traditional Christmas kit meaning red and green and gold and a little bit of white. So let me show you what you get in this kit. In this kit, let me get a scrap of paper here. You get two stencil sheets that feature three different designs. So this is the half sheet stencil and you'll see that this has little snowflakes and it could be, you could call those bells or you could call them Christmas trees. And then this has a nice floral pattern on this side. And then this one is, I call this uh, Christmas snowflakes, Christmas tree snowflakes, because I drew the little image and then it just happened to come out that it looks like a little snowflake. So these are two of the stencil sheets that you get in the kit. You also get a whole bunch of pieces to play with. So let's kind of start here. So I'm going to turn this over. We'll show you the actual printed kit last. So you get a piece of nice heavy cardstock. You get a couple of this really large um, grid paper. You get six sheets of text weight paper, three in red and three in green. They're beautiful colors. They match the kit. I went through some recipe books for Christmas and just pulled some random sheets. So each kit is going to have a different page in there. You also get two sheets from a song book. I think these are from 70s songs, but I just thought they would be kind of fun to use. You could tea dye or coffee dye those. You get two pages from a Spanish Bible. So the text is in Spanish and I just thought that would be kind of fun to have as a element in the journal kit. I've got a couple of pages. This was out of like a Christmas traditions, just different things to do for Christmas and just whatnot. And here is another Christmas cookbook page or two that I found. And then I'm throwing in like, this is a dictionary page. Here is another page out of a Bible. Uh, this was a gardening book, so it was just something extra that I had, and this particular one had some green trees, but they'll all be different. And then here's another large dictionary page. You get a couple of 5 by 7 journal cards. All right. For some reason, my camera is not cooperating, but this is not lot or doesn't have banding on it. It is two white pieces of cardstock that you can fold to make a five by seven journal card, or you could cut it in half. And I think this got out of order. Here's a couple of smaller folded cards that you can have. This is just a strip of some craft cardstock. You could possibly cut it up and make little elements out of it. It could be a tuck spot or a vertical belly band. I've got this ledger paper. I had a few of these left, so I thought I would toss some of those in there. This is some tissue paper. It's called damask tissue paper. I have a couple of, I think these are not quite six by six. I think they're five and a half by five and a half inch square envelopes. And a couple of pieces of some cardstock. These were some basically off prints. They were not cut correctly. They didn't print right. And so I thought, well, they're just kind of fun texture that we can use. Some more craft cardstock. Here is four more little pieces of craft cardstock. This is some pearlescent paper that I just thought was kind of fun. A couple of smaller little journal cards. A savings bond envelope that you could decorate, you could cut up. Some more square pieces of cardstock. You get three of these file folders. They have the left, the right, and the center. So you can choose to use them all together. You can separate them. Got a, what is this, like a an inventory tag. I happened to find a whole box of these popcorn bags. And you may not use it in your Christmas journal, but I thought it would just be something fun that you could use. 
Then I had some smaller little baggies that you can use. And then there are some artist trading card size. They may not be exactly artist trading card size, but there's a few of those in craft and as well as white. And then you get some little envelopes. Now they're probably sealed shut because they're really old. So do something creative, cut a slit in them, decorate them, leave them solid like that. You get a couple of these little ticket shapes and then some doily. So that's the paper portion of it. Then we have the goodie pack of things. So let me get this out. I've got not quite a yard of this little pom-pom trim. You get about a yard of this gold trim. And then these yarns, you get at least a yard. Some cases you may get more. So you have this little eyelash trim. We have the Chanel, some green yarn. This is kind of a bumpy little white yarn. And this one's an ivory little fuzzy yarn. And I think you get two yards of this green. And then you get a yard of this gold. You get a yard of some sequin trim in red and a yard in green. And this was just a backer card to help me keep those wrangled together. Here are the printed portion of the subscription box for a Christmas stream. In here, you will get a 100 pound cardstock cover that will be printed with a laser printer. Mine was printed with my home printer. And you can purchase just the digital images for all three of the kits that I offer, which are the subscription box, the large journal kit, and the planner kit and if you get all three of those you get the digital files bonus for the mini journal so here is the cover the image here is one of my stencil designs in fact you get this stencil in the kit and this is just a different version of it because she's done it digitally on the kit you get this page there's four two-sided pages they'll be printed on about 24 pound car uh, 24 pound paper with a laser printer. Here's another page. Here's another page. Here's that other stencil design that you get in the kit. I made it as a half sheet, but here it is all over. I love the vintage things that Norella used. You get a full page of fussy cut elements that are numbers. So those of you that like to make an advent calendar or want to have dates on all of your journal page, here they are. And then you also get some large journal cards and some little labels and smaller pieces. And then we've got some fussy cut elements, including the definition of Christmas and mistletoe, some flowers a corner tuck spot, and then some journaling tags and elements. So you get a set of four of those in this kit. And you get a whole package of goodies. Let me, all right, so I'm gonna dump these out. So in here you get some jingle bells. I just thought they'd be kind of fun to put on tassels. Here's a little tassel. You get some ball pins in different colors. I've got some uh, paper clips. These are those round fasteners. You get charms. There's a, I think there's some keys and music note and maybe a snowflake. Where is it? Of course, when I have them all together, a little snowflake. There's a little golden snowflake. Music notes. Here's a key there. What else is in here? These are going to be random. So in this particular one, I had a little bow and oh, here's a little moon. And then I saw, where is it? There's one that's, well, of course, now that I want to find it, I can't see it, but you get flat back gems. You get little beads. You get altar paper clips. I even have these little fasteners. So do you get the little um, brads that you poke through and then you can attach that to the page and then you could tie some ribbon off of that. So lots of little goodies in the ephemera pack of beads. So let me set this aside for a moment. You also get a set of chipboard pieces. So in here I have laser cut some chipboard so you can make your own embellishments. Like I think this would be really pretty if it was backed with maybe like a piece of book page. We've also got this tree, 
excuse me, this tree. And we have Joy to the World. Let me scoot some of this stuff over so you can see everything. I thought this little um, cardinal would be kind of pretty to paint. We've got a reindeer or deer. I thought this would be pretty as a, maybe a, a tuck spot. Put another piece of paper behind that so you can fill it in. We have Christmas. I thought that would be really pretty because it's a little flourish on there. And then this one says Merry Christmas and has little snowflakes. And then we have a bunch of little snowflakes, different sizes, different patterns, little bells. Some more snowflakes, some more snowflakes, some more snowflakes, some more snowflakes. You also get a bottle of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is called A Christmas Dream. It's a beautiful shade of red with lots of gold mica in it. And that is the Christmas Dream Creative Subscription Box. It will launch on October the 26th and ship on November the 15th until I sell out. I also have other kits that go with this. There's a planner kit. There is a large journal kit. There is a mini journal kit, as well as Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I'm working on the other chipboard set, but there is going to be another chipboard set of Christmas images as well. Well, I'll have separate videos showing you the other items so no one gets confused as to what's in the box. This is what you get in your creative subscription box. You can purchase just this by itself, or you can go in and purchase the other kits individually. All right, everybody, check out Monday, October the 26th, when I go live and I create a journal using this kit, as well as some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and stencils. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.